All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And we are at a very special charger. Last time I was here in Hope, British Columbia, I saw this EV charger that I thought was pretty cool to show you guys. Um, didn't have time to get to charging the last time I was here, but I was like, okay, I'll take a weekend, drive up, show you guys what it looks like. And it's pretty awesome. Okay, it's pretty, pretty awesome. And I think that the way that they have set it up here, it works well, but there are better ways of doing it. And I hope that they can maybe find a way to put more of these chargers around British Columbia and maybe other parts of the world. I don't know, you guys decide if it works um, the way that I think it would work. I'll tell you later what I think the best adoption for these chargers would be. But before that, let's spin the camera around and I'll show you where I am. Basically, it looks like a little city charger. So it's got the interface of the old, I would say ABB chargers but I'm not sure what this, which brand this one is. It doesn't really say branding. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, it's an ABB too. It's pretty cool. We've got the emergency stop here. When was this manufactured? Does it say? Hmm, nothing. Okay. So this one is a pretty cool charger, like I said. So you've got CSS here, you got Chatamo here, right? And it's a 25 kilowatt city charger. So we're in the city, we're in Hope, British Columbia. All right, that's the place where I always go because we're always going on road trips and this is the place you have to go through. So it's called a BC Hydro 25 kilowatt mini fast charging station. Okay, pretty awesome. So same as always, there's a 40 minute limit here. You can stay in charge, but I think it's awesome. You know, this is another guy's charging here. You just spoke with a couple. They're coming back from Alberta. So there's two of these chargers. Now let's see how much they cost. So for the 25 kilowatt charger, we're paying 12.07 cents per minute. So it's of course slightly less than the 50 or the 100 kilowatt that BC Hydro has. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Now, like I said, there's two of them. You've got Chatamo, you've got CSS, but let's see what kind of speed we're actually getting because, you know, it says here that we're getting 18 on the little screen. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. 18 okay so let's see how much we're actually getting inside the car inside the car yep we're getting 17.9 right now so almost there almost at 18 just as it says there but it's pretty far away from 25 if you guys ask me look at the battery temperature it's pretty warm because i did drive here for over an hour Outdoor temperature is also pretty warm, we're at 25 degrees. So I'm really thinking that to get the most out of this, we would definitely need to get as close to 25 as possible, which we are currently not getting. So that's a little bit of a disappointment, I would say. However, it is in a very good location. So you've got a park there. This is basically downtown Hope over here. Um, Electrify Canada is just right there behind these buildings it's like a two minute walk away so those are your very fast chargers but if you're here for an extended period of time obviously getting a charge on this kind of charger would make sense because you're spending less you have more time to to charge so why not just take it easy and then use one of these mini fast charging stations i love these things honestly they're super cool. Let's charge a little bit. Let it sit here. Um, I'm really thirsty. I got to go find something to drink. Um, get a drink, come back and see if um, it goes up more than just 17.8, 17.9 kilowatt like what we're getting right now. I don't think it will, but maybe there is a chance. Um, the battery is keeping the, the same kind of level of heat. So I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to get anything better than this. But anyways, let's go get something to, to drink come back and see what kind of results we're getting. And then I'll tell you what I think this would be the best case, use case for moving forward. And I think that BC Hydro should consider doing something like this, honestly. All right, let's go get a drink, come back and see if the numbers change. So here's Electrify Canada, empty. It is now three o'clock in the afternoon and nobody's here, uh, which is interesting because usually this place is packed. A lot of people who are coming from Vancouver or from the mountains, from like Kamloops or Merritt, you usually need to charge here before they get back into town. So that's pretty unusual. Anyways, 
let's go find something to drink come back and see if uh we have changed anything in terms of our charging speed and across the street you guys can see that's the old tesla supercharger installation so there's a newer one now too on the other side of the highway with even more stalls so these are the older 150 ones so yeah there's a bunch of teslas here let's cross the road and uh, have a better look tesla's always winning with the amount of chargers that they have always winning and this is the older place and it's already one two three four five six and there's a few hiding in the back as well yeah so we've got a one two three four back here and one if you're coming with a trailer so this is the one i think like electrified canada should start doing the same thing or the other guys too because we also tow and if we charge with the ccs it would be nice to have something like that too not only tesla chargers but when they open Teslas for everybody, we will be able to use these as well, which will be interesting. We're back from our mission to get a drink. It still says 18 on the display. Let's see what the car says. At least the in-car OBD. Yeah, we're still getting 17.9. Uh, so I think this is the max that you can get on these chargers which is a little bit unfortunate. I wish we would have gotten the 25 or at least as close to 25 as possible. And then the car also says 16, 17 fluctuates like that. But look at this, up to 100 will be two hours, 14 minutes to reach 100% state of charge. So this is a pretty good solution if you don't wanna be on a level two charger but don't feel like going directly to a level three DC fast charger. If you watch this channel, you guys know that I'm a proponent of level two charging, especially around shopping centers, um, supermarkets, places where you're gonna go and you're gonna spend a little bit of time. During that time, you are able to then charge your car, okay? So I love level two charging. If you wanna see a video why I like it, I'll put a post here uh, that I was done with Tesla. So yeah, level two charging, perfect. But what's better than level two charging? This solution right here. These 25 kilowatt mini fast charging stations that BC Hydro apparently has would be very, very good to put in shopping malls and outside of, let's say, supermarkets. They already do. Um, BC Hydro has contracts, I guess, in place with Superstore, one of the supermarkets here in British Columbia. And yeah, they put their 50 kilowatt chargers outside of those, but I think that these would be a nice addition. Um, I would put maybe two of them along with the two that they already put in for the 50 kilowatt option. Having these would be brilliant. If I'm going shopping, I don't need to use the 50 kilowatt. I just need to use this. And you know, if I spend an, you know one or two hours shopping, I can get half of my battery. Um, done if I'm at zero and if I'm at 50% I could have a full battery So this could be a perfect solution for someone who has an EV Lives in a condo where he's not able to then put in a charger at home But goes shopping right or goes to the mall or goes to the community center all of these places would be perfect for this It's a small footprint. It's like less than a meter wide, you know and and putting these in along with level two infrastructure and obviously, you know, level three DC fast charging would be awesome, would be awesome. So this is like level 2.5, I would say, <laughs> because right, slots right in the middle, right? In between the uh, level, level two and level three, right? So definitely if BC Hydro is listening or watching this video, probably not. But anyway, if you guys are, I would love to see more of these. I don't know if this technology is still around and if you can purchase these machines. I would dare say probably not because I don't see them a lot. But now that I've used it, you know, even 18 kilowatt, I mean, it's okay. I'm not getting advertised 25, but if I, re if I go to, to a shopping center or, or supermarket or whatever, I don't really care. I just want to get a faster charge than what, you know, level two will give me. So anyway, I think this is a great solution. You guys let me know in the comments below if you think that a solution like this outside of high traffic areas like shopping malls would be a great addition. I think yes, I would use them. I would spend my money to use this technology and just to get a faster charge than level two, honestly. So that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. These little chargers are really, really awesome. I love them. 
We'd love to see them in more locations. So BC Hydro, make it happen if you can, hopefully. Anyways, that's it from me in Hope, British Columbia. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. It helps a ton. I would like to get at least a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. That would be super cool if I did that. And anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and goodbye.